do 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 LARP talks. Boom! Hey guys, it's Nana again. I have to apologize about the past two weeks and not uploading and definitely not explaining to you why I haven't uploaded. The first week had to do with it being the Thursday before a LARP event, so 7th Kingdom took over my life as usual on the Thursday before the Friday of an event. I was ripping and running and making sure everything was how it's supposed to be for my LARP games. And the next week after that I got really sick, and I know it's a lame excuse because I've done a video while sick before, but this one was apparently so much worse, and I had an ear infection, it was all nasty grossness, and it was, it was bad, and I didn't do a video, but I also didn't explain to you guys, and I want to be able to keep in touch with you guys as much as possible. So, this week, our LARP Talks is going to be about creating an in-game space for your character, and I know that you guys have spent hours, like, pining over what your character's backstory is and how they act and how they interact with people. This creating an atmosphere and creating a actual space for your character is going one step further and making like a home for the baby that you've created, for your idea baby. And I did it last month and it was one of the coolest things ever because I would just keep saying to people, come to Vitani's house, come to my house, look how it look how it looks and things like I was I was really braggy and showy offy. But at the same time people would come in and be like, This is this is pretty cool. You did a did a kind of kind of a good job. Kind of uh kind of jealous. No, no one was jealous. That's that's silly. But the main part is it felt really good to just know that I had a place to lie my character's head down and all these things, if someone asked me, like, hey, where'd you get that thing from, Batani, that glowy-eyed skull thing, she could be like, oh, my so-and-so cousin gave it to me, like, 18 years ago, or something like that, and she could just make it up on the spot, and I think that's a really, really cool part about what makes LARP characters so great, is because you know all of these characters, like, history, and all their likes and dislikes, and things like that, and if you have things, if you have objects that belong to them from the past, or like gifts or things like that, I'm sorry, gifts or things like that, you can explain it to new characters, and that just brings a whole nother like layer of depth to your character. I think it's the coolest thing ever. So here are a few things, a few tips on how to create a space for your character. Small Glass Worlds created this post on Tumblr that was actually pretty cool detailing how she's going to start making a sleeping area for her character, like a living area. And I thought that was pretty fun and pretty interesting because that's essentially what I did for Vitani. And it's just really cool how people on Tumblr and just the LARP community have these ideas at the same time and we're miles and miles away. I'm pretty sure she lives in Georgia. So that's a pretty cool thought. But also, this is what my cabin looked like. I only got a few good pictures, and here's one of them. Um, that was the bassinet for my babies, because I had babies this month. I had some twins. Just popped them right on out. But the cool thing about this is, like I said before, hey, Vitani, where'd you get that glowy skull, blah, blah, blah. It's a really fun thing to just be like, okay, this is my living area, this is my space, and I can explain everything here. It's like having new friends over here, a new apartment. It's really great. And I know you guys are kind of thinking, Nana, you're the one that told us we're supposed to LARP on a budget, and you're the one that says to never spend out of our means. And I know, you're not probably going to have enough money to immediately get all the things that I'm talking about, and you're probably not going to be able to get it right off the bat. And that's okay. Most of the things in Vitani's house are things that I've accrued over years and years of LARPing. Some of the things are things that I acquired very, very recently, but at the same time I didn't spend too much money on it. Just a quick rundown, the hay that I put underneath my yoga mat sleeping bag air mattress combo was found at Hobby Lobby for like three bucks and um, just lots of large fabric things. So if you want to delve through your mom's fabric closet or your dad's fabric closet or your cousins or your aunts or your weird uncles, um, if you want to go through those things and just check out like how many fabric things you can sew or stitch together in any way, shape, or form, and just decorate your sleeping area how it, how you want it to be, essentially. Um, I just, I can't explain to you how important it is to stay in character at a LARP and how very easy it is when you just have these things surrounding you that you don't have to, oh, okay, I'm pretending that I'm going back to my room at the inn when you can just go back to your room at the inn. It's just, it's so much easier to stay in character. It heightens your, your senses a little bit because you don't have to pretend anymore. You're just doing it. You're just being your character. And I think it's one of the coolest things in the world. I, that's like the eighth time I've said that exact phrase. 
but I really do. I really honestly think that it's something that current LARPers should try and new LARPers should start to think about because it is something that you should really start to think about to heighten your roleplay experience at your game. And if you're having fun, then your game is having fun as well. People around you will start reacting positively. There's pretty much no downside to this. <laughs> Just a few tips for doing this, if you don't have enough room to bring all of these things, you can go to Walmart or a dollar store or someplace like that and just get a really big tote, like a really huge kind of like 20 to 30 gallon big tote and that way you can put in all of your items and all your accessories and all your props and everything like that and once everything is out of the tote, once you've unpacked for your LARP, once you've unpacked for your game, you can take the tote, flip it upside down, and put a fabric over it, and now it is an in-game table. So that's a fun thing. Um, also you can drape things if you want to bring pins or some sort of sticky material for draping things across things. It's always a really good thing to have. You should always have some sort of like scissor sewing kit on you, just in case something does rip out a LARP. Um, other things that you can do, hangings or any sort of flags, if your character is very patriotic or very chivalric, they're going to want their flag somewhere or their family crest, and you can hang that or pin it up somewhere like that. Um, other things you can do, various accessories that kind of pertain to your character. So for my character, Vitani, she's a very... I can't say the word voodoo because it doesn't exist in the world. I'm gonna say it. Voodoo priestess kind of character. She's really, like, kind of backwater sort of mystical weirdo thing and so I, for her costume I do like usually tears of clothing and rags and things like that so for her house there were drapes and candles because she doesn't understand you know normal lights apparently and uh, just hangings and tapestries and incense and things that really remind her of home so that she has a little bit of her country, a little Ixia, in Freehold, a place where she can retreat when the outside world is a little bit too crazy or she doesn't understand a lot of things. She can just go back to a place that reminds her of home and feel a little bit more safe or a little bit more secure there. This was a very long video detailing things that should have been detailed very, very quickly, but were drawn out. So I'm sorry about that. What I am excited about to tell you guys is uh, we're having a promotion in Swedesboro, New Jersey for Seventh Kingdom. So if you've ever had any ideas about LARPing and are in the area, in the New Jersey, Swedesboro area, it's going to be at Lake Nerissi Con. I've put all the descriptions right down there in the comment section, or the description section, because that's where describing things would go. But if you guys want to come out, it's on the 7th, April 7th. If you guys want to show up, we're going to be having some fighting demonstrations, and we're just going to be hanging out and chilling and pretty much explaining to new people how we do things at Seventh Kingdom. And then the week immediately following that one, April 12th, is our April event at 7th Kingdom. It's going to be at Camp Amity Acres. It's going to be really, really fun. A lot of people are coming home from a very um, dastardly trip, so things are just going to be really great. And I hope to see you guys next week for another installment of LARP Talks. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.